The Alonzo Hard Fork is in less than two days. Tonight, we are going to witness the most anticipated match in the history of cryptocurrency for the heavyweight championship of the world. Are you ready? Cardano fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance, for the millions watching around the world, from the capital city of the United States, warm, sunny Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. So I hope you enjoyed my little introduction there. I had a lot of fun making that. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. I wanted to say a big thank you to Ryan Jones with Muse Pool, as well as Meepo for helping me put together that fun introduction. Uh, just something fun for the community. I thought it would be interesting. I think that we're all kind of in that mindset. We're all ready to rumble. So I had to put that out there. I really enjoyed making that. But in this video today, what I wanted to talk with you about is what's going to happen in just a couple days. Uh, we've heard a lot of talk about the Alonzo hard fork, and there are some people in the community who have questions. They hold ADA. They want to know how is this hard fork going to affect them? What will they need to do with their ADA? Um, how is this going to affect the changes on the actual blockchain itself? Um, things like that. So we're just going to talk about some of those different things things to be prepared for, managing some of those expectations that we have. You know, we're expecting all of these projects to start building and developing on Cardano right now after this hard fork for Gogan. But I think in reality, it's going to take a little bit of time. So I wanted to share some thoughts around that as well. And also a bit about managing uh, FUD and all the negative sentiment that we've seen as of recent within the ecosystem. So lots of cool stuff to talk about today. Uh, first off, I just wanted to say for everybody who's watching this video, thank you all so much for your support. If you do enjoy this type of content, please be sure to drop a like for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe as well as everything that we talk about here on this channel is related to Cardano and the projects building on the Cardano blockchain. So to start off, we are looking at hard forks. So this term is generally used in a sort of negative connotation. When you hear the term hard fork, it's got a bit of a uh, negative sentiment around it. Um, a lot of people term this as a uh, fork in the chain as opposed to something that we see on Cardano, which is simply something like a network upgrade. Um, so I don't even know if hard fork combinator is a accurate representation of what we're actually doing. It's more like a network upgrade. But I wanted to just briefly talk about it. I think the hard fork combinator is really a revolutionary piece of technology. I think that it's one of Cardano's secret weapons uh, in terms of adding new functionality to the blockchain with the hard fork combinator. Essentially, you're not creating a split in the chain. What you're doing is you're building on top of layers essentially so a hard fork combinator combines these different protocols uh, we saw this take place when we went from byron to shelley so we went from a federated state to a dynamic and decentralized state of the blockchain consensus with the stake pool operators now managing the blockchain uh, and what's going to happen now we are going from the shelley era to the gogan era and what's going to happen then with this hard fork combinator for September 12th, uh, the Alonzo hard fork is going to bring about full Plutus functionality on the Cardano blockchain, which is what developers will be able to use to write these smart contracts. So the term hard fork combinator is basically a way to be able to combine these different protocols and layer them on top of each other so that you don't have a split in the chain, essentially, with a Cardano and a Cardano classic, like you would expect from the normal sense of the term hard fork, but rather the hard fork combinator is a way to combine all these different features and functionality and create a really amazing and powerful consensus protocol. So that is what we're looking at here with the hard fork combinator. I just wanted to briefly talk about that. I think that the hard fork combinator is one of the most powerful tools within the Cardano arsenal. 
nothing bad essentially it's basically just a network upgrade that is going to be happening for cardano now i got a lot of questions from delegators from people in the community uh, people who are new to cardano who are asking i hold ada but I don't necessarily know what I need to do in order to prepare for this hard fork combinator event. So let's go ahead and talk about that. If you hold ADA, let's say you have a Daedalus wallet, let's say you have a Uroi wallet, you don't really have to do anything with your ADA. Essentially your ADA balance is gonna be the same as it is now uh, after the hard fork combinator event. Uh, you're just gonna continue to earn passive rewards if you've delegated to a stake pool, all that is gonna happen the same. The biggest thing that you have to pay attention to is making sure that if you are delegating to a pool that your stake pool operator has updated to the latest node version in order to be supported for the Alonso hard fork. So current node version for Cardano node is 1.29.0. Always great to have open communication with your stake pool operator. In our case, all Kaizen stake pools have been updated to the latest node version, so we are ready to go. All of our backups are in place. Our kests have been rotated. We are ready to rock and roll. So that is one thing you wanna pay attention to. One thing I did wanna point out is with Daedalus being a full node, there is a new version of Daedalus version 4.3.1, which is going to be supportive of the Alonso hard fork combinator upgrade. So if you do use Daedalus, this is probably the biggest thing that you would need to do is simply just open up the wallet. It's gonna prompt you to update. You would just follow the prompts to update the application. And that's pretty much it. You don't even have to restore your wallet or anything like that. Uh, if you hold your ADA on a ledger device or a Trezor device, also a question that I get is, would I need to do anything if I hold my ADA in cold storage? And the answer to that is no, not necessarily. You don't really have to do anything if you are simply holding ADA. Your funds are safe on your hardware device and they're going to be the same as it was after the hard fork combinator event. So you really don't have anything to worry about there if you're an ADA holder. This is really going to be something that happens on a protocol level. Biggest thing is to make sure that your stake pool operator is up to date so that you will continue to earn those passive ADA rewards. So that is gonna be some of those best practices to uh, be sure that you are keeping up with in order to be prepared for the hard fork combinator event. I wanted to go ahead and show you as well for all of our followers, all of our subscribers, all of our delegators. I'm actually gonna be doing a really awesome giveaway. So shout out to Cardanian Old Man for uh, hooking it up with the Alonso Special Kaizen Crypto Edition. Uh, so this is one of those commemorative NFTs. This is actually the artist behind the Kaizen token logo, uh, behind the Space Coins logo. So uh, Silvio Hero is actually a very, very talented artist. So big shout out to him and thank you so much for this awesome NFT. I'm gonna be giving this away on my Twitter to celebrate the Alonso Hard Fork event. Um, it's gonna be an exciting time. There's gonna be a uh, meetup. You know, we'll probably do something online where we have a watch party. Uh, I know Charles Hoskinson was talking a bit about that. So it'd be great to see you all there if we do something like that. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you wanna enter into this giveaway, it's a free NFT I'm giving away. It's a commemorative for the Alonso Hard Fork. Go ahead and head over to my Twitter. Make sure you follow me at Kaizen Crypto. Be sure to retweet this and I will be picking a winner on the 12th of September. So lots of cool stuff, lots of exciting things to look forward to. Um, and as far as what I wanted to talk about for the closing part of this video, it's going to be a matter of managing expectations and also ignoring some of the FUD. Um, so as far as anybody who is new to the Cardano community, I think uh, what we've seen very recently is that a lot of people are talking about issues with concurrency. Uh, there's a lot of people just fudding Cardano saying that it's not going to be able to handle smart contracts or whatever these people come up with. You know, there's just so many different narratives that we've seen over the years. Um, I've been talking about Cardano now for a couple of years, I believe since 2019, I started this YouTube channel. I've been in Cardano since 2017. For so many years, uh, we've had to deal with FUD. Um, a lot of people saying that Shelly would never ship. You know, People thought that we would never become decentralized. Uh, and here we are, we are at the precipice of smart contracts and yet there are still haters. So one thing I would implore you as a Cardano holder, as a Cardano enthusiast like myself, is to simply ignore the FUD because the reason these people are doing this is simply because they're afraid. I think that 
people who are looking at this project objectively, who see the technology, who realize the vision, um, there is a method behind the madness. And uh, I think that the people who have anything negative to say are really just afraid of the inevitable. I think at this point, we've cross that point of no return and um, you know it's going to be very interesting to see what these people who have been fighting for this long uh, have to say after we do see these smart contracts um, now with that being said i just wanted to talk about managing some expectations this is something i've been thinking a lot about and there are so many different projects now that are building on Cardano, and uh, we see all these different innovative ways of raising capital um, there's the initial stake pool offering we saw the initial dex offering um, initial coin offering, right? Like with the ICOs back in 2017. There are so many interesting ways that people have uh, used the protocol for Cardano to actually facilitate raising capital and building their projects. So in terms of keeping things realistic, uh, one thing that I'm actually looking at is a lot of these projects that have very promising fundamentals. And um, I'm looking to see what exactly is the problem that they're aiming to solve within the Cardano ecosystem. Uh, but with that being said, I do understand that it is going to take some time to see these things actually come to fruition. A lot of these projects are in the building stages and they've been very successful with testing on the Alonzo testnet. Uh, but I do think that it is going to take a bit of time to see their code fully audited and actually rolled out onto the mainnet without any hiccups. So I'm keeping things pretty realistic and I'm doing my best to manage my expectations. And um, I just wanted to put that out there for our viewers as well, is just that we are gonna have the hard fork combinator on the 12th. There's no doubt about it. I think at this point, it's pretty much inevitable and people know that this is something that is going to happen. But in terms of the projects that are aiming to deliver and build on the Cardano blockchain, I would think that it, it's gonna take a bit more time then just the day after Alonzo, we have all these amazing DEXs and all these different smart contract capabilities. I think uh, it's a matter of managing those expectations, but it's just a matter of finding those solid fundamentals, finding the right teams that are aiming to address some of the significant problems that we see on Cardano. And I think that people who are looking for the value there are really going to do very well during this next phase of the Cardano ecosystem. So those are some of the things that I wanted to talk about and share with you all here in this video, really just talking about some of my feelings about what's to come with this network upgrade. It's an exciting time. Uh, and I can't believe that I'm able to create content and provide value and engage with our community. I mean, just the Cardano community has changed my life, uh, you know, let alone being an ADA holder. Uh, the amazing people in this ecosystem are really really second to none. So I want to say thank you to everybody who has been supportive of us on this journey. You know, it's been an incredible ride and I'm so grateful to be along this journey with you. Last thing I wanted to leave you all with is a tweet that I had put out yesterday, um, just doing a bit of reflection on our time within this space. Um, holding ADA gives me hope that we are building a better future. Cardano is just getting started. You know, with this Alonzo hard fork, it may seem like it's we're actually at the finish line, but in reality, this is the starting line. We are just getting started, and there are so many exciting things that are happening. Uh, we've seen what they're building in Africa and Ethiopia with Atala Prism. There's amazing projects out there like World Mobile who have actually partnered with IOHK, the parent company behind Cardano. They want to help connect the unconnected. There's going to be a whole bunch of innovative ways to transfer value. We're going to see stable coins pop up. We're going to see DEXs pop up. There is so much value that is going to happen on Cardano. This ecosystem is absolutely ready to explode. So everyone, that is what I have for you all here in this video. It is an exciting time to be a Cardano holder. Let me know down in the comments section. Are you excited for Alonso? Let me know down below. I would love to hear from you all. Let me know your goals for the next few months with Cardano. Are you a developer? Are you going to be building? Are you an NFT artist? Are you looking to launch your own project? Let me know down below. I would love to hear from you all. All right, everyone. Well, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.